who's working in the so league? You've got Cam, you've got um, Sliman, Rizwan, Roxan, Muna. Got, uh, so who's in the grill? Cam's yeah. in the grill. Cam's, Cam's in the grill tonight. I'm going to be in the till once I get in. Uh, shop floor. See what's going on. And uh, what time does uh, Cam finish in late? Cam is... He should be there to run near. Probably all the way to 12, 12 I reckon. This one's there as well, so... What happened was, this man here, he's, a, bit, he's, he's, he's a real chef, chef, head chef. He's the chef. And um, he, he used to have a lot of dinners around his house. It took him a very long time ago. And every time he used to cook food, we should say, you should do a restaurant, you should do a restaurant. And he always, he, <laughs> he always used to like, he always used to brush it off his go, oh, is it, is it, we should do a restaurant. And then um, what happened was, love, passion for food, the, we liked the food, and we knew we had confidence. The food we were doing, that, you know, was very nice. We all enjoyed it. I'm the only one with any cooking experience was Cameron. None of us got any uh, uh, cooking experience, or any catering. We had no no catering experience. Cameron used to we used to go around. Uh, he used to invite the brothers around Friday, Saturdays, and for about cook for about 20 people. And uh, most of the, like, the original recipes are from was what Cameron's recipes. So Cameron used to be regularly cooking for brothers Friday, Saturdays. I used to be his like, side chef. Yeah. <laughs> he, used be, he used to be cooking, I used to be side chef, do the salad, we used to do bits and bobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we used to say all the time, we used to go, you know what? I said, Cam, you should do a restaurant, you should do a restaurant. And um, I don't know, you know, Allah made it easy for us. So I was about four years now. Four years. But originally, I mean, it, it was it changed. We had a, from when we originally got this shop, uh, someone offered to us. Uh, we was not open up a pound, pound pizza shop. That was what originally was an open yeah. up. And that's why we got this shop. I mean, um, the main reason we got this shop was because of the mosque. That was the main reason. We could be next, the be next to the mosque. mosque. We said, right, the mosque is there, and we're going to get our prayers in. That was a. Found that the original thing was this shop is near the mosque. Whatever business we're going to do, we were thinking about our prayers. And then we sat down and, said, and we, you know, then we said, right, we're going to do what we're going to do. Because of the a area and, and at the time, the most suited thing was here was a pound pizza, and then <laughs> 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 we then we just so one of my friends recommended me. He goes, let's go, you know before you decide, let's go and have a look at some other food places, and we went to one other place, uh, which uh, it was a, it was a grill restaurant, and we looked at it, and it was a similar size to this place, and we thought, okay, you know, we can manage something like that, and then everything from there changed. So we changed our whole ideas of what we're going to do. We had a lot of help from a brother from um, in the, um, Muhammad. Muhammad, he's one of our... He, he, was, he used to work, uh, previously he used to work uh, for Planet Hollywood. So and he had a lot of input. Hard Rock, hard rock, hard rock Cafe, Cafe Planet Hollywood. So he had a lot of input into yeah. the Sahara Grill dishes. So, because we had uh, no catering experience at all. And he, uh, he was, he was a uh, head uh, grill chef. So he designed a lot of dishes that we could follow through and so it made it easier for us. He put the, um, it helped us put the menu together basically. So he was probably the, the biggest outside influence to Sahara Grill and what it, is, what it was was to do with Brother Muhammad who helped us a lot.
what we do is we got like we all of us we try and take part in both places, both restaurants. So we've got shifts and timetables. I mean, like th three times a week I'm in Leighton, three times a week in Gans Hill, or well, twice twice a week in Gans Hill. So um, and then we swap. Like you got Lava, Tahir, X, Hamza, Cameron. We we take it between us really. So we, we can be tomorrow. We working tomorrow. Tomorrow being Gans Hill. Gans Hill tomorrow. Yeah. Same here. Gans Hill as well. Sunday late. First, obviously, we were all together in one shop because we all started off together. When we opened up, we were a bit sad. We felt, you know, we felt like we was. We did. We actually did. We don't see each other as much no more. You know, like sometimes, like before, I used to be. All of us used to be working together. Me, Akil, Camera, and all of us. Now, nah, I hardly see Akil because he's like, always here. We do opposite shifts, you know. So that, that, that's what we miss. Actually, sometimes we're actually a bit sad about it. We say, you know what? It was, you know, we don't see each other as much no more and stuff like that. But you got to move on. In. <laughs> We rotate around, we move around from shop to shop, sometimes in Leighton, sometimes in uh, this Silford one here. They've both got their pros and cons, but mainly there because you're next to a mosque and you can get all your prayers in the mosque. But I'm the, they're both okay, but yeah. that one there's uh, better because you've got the masjid next to you. We originally had, uh, even then when we did open, we had, we had we had loads more, a lot more dishes than we actually sell now. We was had uh, kebabs. kebabs. <laughs> we had like we wanted to do things that wasn't available in this area and basically. As well. So Which we had big hit shawarma. We was, we try to do. We didn't open up with shawarma. But we didn't open we up with we we shawarma. But it was too much. Too much. To 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 because we didn't want to. We didn't want to bring anything that people were doing. So we were, any dish that we wanted to do had to be different, had to be different in taste and flavor. So even the, we had some brothers, Alhamdulillah Allah sent so many people to help us with different things and they gave us recipes and they gave us all sorts of things. We had uh, uh, another... My dad, he's, he's, well he's retired now, but he was his uh, catering manager. So he was, um, he's got a lot of catering experience. Shreve's dad helped us a lot. Yeah. And he also had contact who was a head chef in Claridge's yeah. Dorchester, 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 Dorchester Hotel. So he he came in with a few recipes, some of our sauces, design, uh, designed some of our sauces. So we had a lot of help from a lot of people. <laughs>